Joining us now from London is Sorab Amari, editorial writer for The Wall Street Journal. Welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me. London Mayor Sadiq Khan reassured residents that London is one of the safest cities in the world, and yet the country has faced three attacks since March, two in the city of London. Our president, as you, I'm sure, have been reading, has been tweeting and criticizing the mayor. He said, well, Khan had to think fast on his no reason to be alarmed statement. Is that a valid criticism? It's not good to criticize a mayor of a city that's just had an attack. Um, but uh, on the whole, I think that the president is pointing to a, a wider pattern of European elites, not just here in Britain, but across the continent, who uh, have a tendency to downplay the attacks. Whereas if you speak to people on the street, there's a sense that mm, the state is not fulfilling its basic function, which is providing security for people. So in that sense, I agree with President Trump that European elites have to wake up about the terrorist threat. Prime Minister Theresa May, who has an election on Thursday, says Britain must do much, much more to fight this kind of terrorism. How do you think she's going to do in this election? But my sense is that she's been, going, to, going to be perceived as the steady hand in this election. So if you're a voter who's worried about security, you're going to go with the, the, the person that you know, who's the prime minister, as opposed to the Labour Party's candidate, Jeremy Corbyn, who comes from the very far left of the Labour Party and who has described, for example, Hamas and Hezbollah as our friends. He's not seen as a serious secur security person. Right. And, 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 and she'll benefit from that. Do you think that President Trump, who here is doubling down on his travel ban today, do you think that that is an effective way? Is that something, a strategy that the U.K. should adopt? It's fair for voters to say, look, who are we letting into the country? And that it's not, it should not be treated as an a priori crime, an intellectual crime, as it is by much of the, the transatlantic elite to suggest that, look, are we vetting people who are coming into the country? Now, the, one of the uh, downsides of the program, or what it doesn't address, is that many of the terrorists in these recent cases, both in the U.S. and in Britain and in Europe, have been people who are native-born Americans, native-born Brits, at, by citizenship. Sure. Um, and, and a travel ban would not address that issue, which is why I think prime, the prime minister here is quite right, that there should not be pockets of Muslims who live in European cities, have European citizenship, but who don't at all share the mainstream values of a, of a Western society. Very good. So Rab Amari is the editorial and editorial writer for The Wall Street Journal. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.